So this is our pre-release uh, undermount battery box for Sprinter 144s, specifically for the Victron 200 amp hour 24 volt batteries and Victron 200 amp hour 12 volt batteries. So on a 144, we're able to get uh, 20 kilowatts worth of storage on there. So that's gonna be either eight 200 amp hour 12 volt batteries or four 200 amp hour 24 volt batteries. It bolts directly into the hitch mount as well as the spare tire mounts at the back. And we've also got the connection ports on here. So Victron communication out of the back. So the M8 circular connectors that you're used to seeing on their smart lithium lineup. So here we've got our IP rated inserts. So this is all gasketed and sealed. And this is gonna be your positive output from your battery side of things. I guess output and input. Same with your negative. Uh, so we've got dedicated dual uh, runs on the inside for both positive and negative. So those are two watt on the inside. And that allows for up to two 5K inverters on the 48 volt side if you choose to go with a 48 volt system. So this is the standard Victron M8 circular communication cables that are uh, coming out of the box. They're going through an IP rated gland. So that's gonna be all your communication to and from your batteries for sort of a louder charge, a louder discharge signaling. And then we've got an ATP connector going in that allows for auxiliary power to go into the unit so that it can be heated. On the inside, we've got two heaters, uh, DC space heaters, which are powered by a thermostat and relay internally. And so that'll kick on anytime that it goes below 50 degrees to keep Victron batteries above the 41 degree charge limit. You also could add battery heaters in terms of the heating pads for those batteries. And we stock those heating pads specific to Victron batteries, both for 24 volt batteries and 12 volt batteries. And we can get them in both 12 and 24 volts. Some people like to heat their 24 volt batteries with 12 volt heating pads if they've already got that 12 volt infrastructure. And the reason that we picked space heaters specifically for this one, especially in the pre-production model, was so that we could heat a smaller environment with less power. So rather than having heating pads on each individual battery, we figured we would you know, be able to heat a small compartment with about half the energy consumption. And then lastly, we've got a CNC cut insulation package that is a double stick tape a neoprene insulation with a Reflectix on the outside. And so you can do any combination of those three items, you know, the DC space heaters, independent heating pads for each batteries, and then also the insulation if you're gonna go into extreme environments and need all three of those. Uh, you will notice that it sits a little low compared to, so you, it will affect your departure angle. But for most van applications, especially guys that aren't going serious off-roading, then this is going to be a really good solution to increase the capacity while taking up less space inside. It's also a great solution for commercial applications, which people are just going to be using around town or on paved roads. So we've got a fully gasketed lid on this to keep all of the elements out. And then we've used a non-conductive expanded PVC foam lid so that any of those bumps that you hit in the event that a battery was to jump up and hit the, the lid, it's not gonna short out on itself. And so we added that non-conductive lid for safety reasons. And then we also boot all of the battery cables and terminals on the inside with additional boots for that protection. 